All right, welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. Um, last time we ended with Randy being an actual idiot shocker. So today we're going to try and drag him back. Hello, Malbrand. Welcome to stream. Yes, previously on Brandy's self-indulgence. Oh, what an idiot. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to drag him back. We're going to drag him back. Mostly because there's literally nothing else we can do. I don't think we have any side quests at all. So, you know. No choice here. Hi, Fran. What's up? Hey, everybody. Things have been crazy busy around here. The department's been buzzing like a beehive all morning. Oh, yeah. Also, all those CGF members died. So there's that, too. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, excuse me, one sec. Yes, you've reached the Crossbell Police Department. Right. Yes. That's correct. The CGF has been working since last night to settle. She is swamped. We have to do our part to lift the burden off the shoulders of everyone else here at headquarters. Luckily for Randy, this isn't an anime. He's especially lucky this isn't Naruto, and he's not pulling a Sasuke off to not be seen until, like, the very end. Or not to come back until, like, the very end. Boy, are things getting dicey. The second division is putting all our other cases to the wayside so we can buoy up the guys in the first. I've never used buoy in that way, but I guess that works. Can I check something for you? Sure. I'm game. We've got spies infiltrating Crossbell, so we're sifting through every scrap of intel we have on them, especially the Erebonian ones. I will try that. Menu. System. Options. Input. Uh, what am I looking for? This is all I've got. The PlayStation is different. So the PlayStation has less options than other versions of this game. That's dumb. Whatever. How am I doing on my relationships? Ellie's almost done. Tio's almost done. Randy's getting there. Noelle is only half my <laughs> ah. My bad. <laughs> Wazy's almost done. Apparently, I just don't like Noelle. They're done. I've got that going for me. I don't know why this is still a question mark when it looks like all the hearts are filled in, but okay, whatever. Hello, Raymond. Sounds like the Empire has already formally denied that they were behind the attack. Yeah, I mean, the Empire can say whatever the heck it wants. That doesn't mean they're not behind the attack. I think we literally all know they are. Still, I hear they're looking to have some off-the-record negotiations over this. I, I bet they are. They want to take over the city. It's what they've always wanted. They've been pretty clear about that the whole time. If they're playing that card, then they must have some sort of stake in what Crossbell does next. Ah, <sighs> Osborne. Hopefully by the end of this series, one of us gets to kill Osborne. Life goals. I don't even care who it is. Heck, let it be Lecter. Let Lecter kill Osborne. That's fine. Kilika can take out Rocksmith. It'll be great. 
don't think I've ever seen someone carrying a child in this game. Oh, your name is also Ellie, but with one more L. We finally found him, Armand. This downtown address is my father's. This is great news, Ellie. All we have to do is go over and we can finally meet him. Is your father Gable? Is Gable your dad? Interesting. I think Gable might be that man's father. What am I actually supposed to be doing right now? Okay, we talked to Drake. Um, and then they said we could talk to Guillaume or, um, I, I guess just Guillaume. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't know that I want to talk to Guillaume immediately, just in case that, like, forces the story to progress. Hello, uncle? Where those hooligans on the mountain are, they're nothing but a pack of fools. But they kind of killed, like, a good chunk of the CGF. I don't know if I'd say they're fools. They're definitely insane. But fools? Power is supposed to be used responsibly. Terrorizing innocent people is madness. That's power for you. Let, um, what is your name? Nielsen. Just who could be pulling the strings behind the strongest Jaeger Corps in the continent? It would be easy to jump to the conclusion that the Empire is to blame. But is that truly so? Probably. Maybe not, but probably. Um, where to... Yes. No, no, I, I don't. I want to be... Tio. Okay, um... I can't do anything in Central Square because I don't have any Sepith, which is something. Um, sure, let's go to West Street. Oh, I definitely want to see if we can find Risha today. Is there anyone I care about in here? Oscar, give me free food. No? Okay. Fine. Okay. Is Ilya at home? This is definitely gonna diminish their revival performance, that's for sure. Who wants to go see a play the day after a massacre? In their own city. Hello, Grim. Right when the referendum is almost upon us, Mines is attacked. The timing is far too convenient. Some citizens believe this occupation was plotted by Calvard or Erebonia in hopes we might retract the independence proposal. But motivations notwithstanding, to think anyone would ever go to such lengths. Yep, people suck. Mine's occupied by force. There's no way anyone could justify that. Think of all the innocent people getting dragged into this conflict. It's too horrible for words. I just wish there was something average citizens like me could do to help. This child is so responsible. Okay, let's see if Auntie is home. And then we move on to the next district. The people of Mines must be terrified out of their wits having their village invaded like this. They're saying the CGF has been driven back, too. Goddess, what's going to happen now? 
I don't know. Nothing good. That's why he was hired, because he's so competent. You're not wrong. All right, let's go. E Street, sure. Let's just make our way down the list. How are the bracers doing? Oh, cutscene. Well, look who's here. Hey, SSS. Thanks for yesterday. You're welcome. Lynn, I still think you might have died and been brought back to life by Risha. Are you two already back to work? Yes, we are. Due in no small part to all of you, of course. I'll be sure to give you lots of pats on the head as a reward later, my dear Tio. If you try to touch Tio, I will hurt you. I politely decline. If you have the energy to fawn over me, then you must be feeling better. Hey, at least she said politely. If it was anyone else, she would not have thrown that in there. Yeah, but we can't push ourselves too hard yet. Huh? I just realized. Where'd that red head of yours go? <sighs> he had to bring that up. This is his usual cue to chime in and not so subtly hit on Aeolia. Looks like something happened between you guys. Uh, you want to talk about it? Actually, yeah. Lloyd and the SSS explained that Randy had disappeared. Well, that's just dandy. I had a hunch something like this might happen after we found out the Red Constellation is the one behind the occupation of mines. How does the Bracer Guild plan to proceed? The CGF is trying its best to push them back, so we'll wait and see. But if the situation drags out any longer, we'll have no choice but to intervene. Right, Michelle? Right. We might even need to bring in some bracers A rank or higher from nearby countries to help. <gasps> Are Estelle and Joshua coming back? You'd go that far? I think they need to, to take out the Red Constellation. This group of people is clearly not enough to take out an entire Jaeger Corps. Well, only in a worst case scenario. Arios is in the middle of discussing things with the mayor right now. If it looks like the CGF won't be able to hold out, then... Well, the guild's creed is to prioritize civilian safety, so of course you'll have to intervene. Right, but all that aside, I'm worried about that rowdy redhead of yours. <sighs> Everything's up in the air from here on out, so you'll, so you all better watch your keisters. You hear me? You actually used the word keisters, huh? Yep, we will. Keisters. If this situation goes on for much longer, we'll have no choice but to take action. Erebonia and Calvard have ridiculed the CGF plenty of times before, though, so it would only give them more justification. That's true. It's for us to be the last resort, but when civilian lives are on the line, we can't just sit back and watch forever. We should form a raid of A rank bracers. You're right. Let's just all go take them out. I'm like an, an honorary bracer at this point with all the random crap we do. It's odd for a Jaeger Corps to take hostages. But even if they haven't been physically harmed, Mines' villagers are still being put through untold psychological trauma. We have to consider everyone's mental well-being in the situation if the situation drags on. With that in mind, I feel it would be best to intervene as soon as possible. Wasn't one of the new um nuns out in mines um doing sunday school yesterday is she stuck there we're going on to stay on standby at the guild while we survey the situation things are getting worse by the hour though so we're going to have to step in eventually 
Honestly, I feel like we should just all gang together and take care of it at this point. If there's no more Jaeger Corps, then what can the Empire really hold over our head anymore? Scott is checking in with St. Ursula and Armorica to be safe, but from what we can tell, they aren't in any danger. Even still, driving the Jaegers out of the mountains will be easier said than done. They have the terrain advantage now. You know what? I first ran into the Jaegers. Well, not first first, but they, they did um, like bomb the entrance of that mine when I was in mines. So we did know that they've been scouting out up there. Who's to say what will happen to mines as people if this continues? And that was the very beginning of the game. Holy crap. We're going to have no choice but to intervene. So everything's all right in Armorica then. That's great to hear. Of course, please tell the villagers to take shelter as a precaution. So many people I need to talk to. I don't care about the fishing guild. Um, eh. The old dude might have something. This incident couldn't have come at a worse time with the referendum just around the corner. If we aren't careful, Erebonia and Calvard could easily use this as even more reason to scrutinize us. I only pray this catastrophe is addressed before they get a chance to. You and me both, sir. Okay, there's no one important here. Let's just make sure no one's in the rooms. No. No. That lucky cat is still terrifying. Okay, we did administrative um, harbor. I guess let's see if we can talk to Heyu. Which we can't. Wait, what did that sign say? Okay. For a second I thought it said something different, but it did not. Grace. Ooh, cutscene. Hey, it's a special support section. You guys look like you've been through a lot in the last 24 hours. Wait, isn't Randy... No, where is he? Don't tell me he... Well... Sorry, Grace. We'll fill you in on the details some other time. Let's go, everyone. Hey, wait, Lloyd. Listen, I'm not looking to pry into things here, but how about I give you a few words of advice? Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Well, let me start by admitting that I know a thing or two about Randy's background. Not to insult the guy, but I can't deny I was a little suspicious of him before. But after everything I've seen him do as part of the SSS, you can be sure I've got my trust in him. Grace. Based on your reactions, I can piece together what happened. He's on his way to mines alone, isn't he? Yeah, he's kind of an idiot. He's trying to fix this whole mess himself. Yeah. Idiot. You can tell? She isn't a reporter of the Crossbell Times for nothing. Dang Skippy. I nailed it, didn't I? What? What is with the things people are saying today? Keister, Skippy, what is this? And that means the rest of you are on your way to Dragon Back. Maybe this is a dumb question, but you guys are dead set on this, huh? Nothing's gonna talk you out of it. Of course not. Randy's our friend. That's right. We won't abandon him. I hear ya. In that case, you don't really need my advice. So that leaves only one thing left for me to say. Go kick some butt out there, SSS. And when you get back here with Randy, let me get an interview so I can write all about it. We will. Thanks, Grace. Yes, do write about his humiliation after I've beaten him up. He'll deserve it. You guys better watch your hides out there. The last thing I want is to lose my favorite police squad. Who would I write my articles about then? That is a genuine concern. Heard the red constellation is especially dangerous. Be careful and making your way to mines. 
Yeah, I might die. It's it's a thing. Okay, that's it for here. Did entertainment? Uh, we did not actually do all of entertainment district. We just did the casino. Is this no no Tisha? No, this is just a random reporter. We can always reload anyway. When I die? Yeah. I'm just happy I didn't have to redo that fight from last time against the Chimera. That would have been really unfortunate. Yo, where are Elia and Risha? All right, if I'm going to play second fiddle to you, then I'll just have to be the best second fiddle there ever was. What? That's not how I see you at all. You know, I've always loved your acting, right, Celine? You're incredible up there. What are you going on about? Shut up. Let's just hurry and practice, you simpleton. Okay. You don't have to fly off the handle, you know. We are witnessing a couple in the making. All right, Theodora, let's move on to the climactic scene. You, the altar's protector, clash swords with me, the debaucherous duke. Okay. Oh, how it pains me to even say it. I was hoping that this scene would be revised for the revival as well. It's way too late to start complaining about that. Just suck it up and deal with it, Eugene Kung Poop. What is this game today? What did you just call me, Eugene Kumpoop? Then that makes you Theodult. How do you like that, Theodult? Alright, I take it back, but my point still stands. Get over it. It's gonna be just like last time. Oh, great. At least they don't seem nervous, I guess. Oh, well, there's Elia. I will try to speedrun all the people I want to talk to then, just in case that goes on for, like, ever. 